This man is a real force. Drew McIntyre. A revamped attitude. A revamped appearance. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Air Scotland, weighing in at 254 pounds, Drew McIntyre. McIntyre's made it his mission to eliminate all the complacency in WWE. You know, Drew McIntyre arrived and he was the chosen one. Handpicked by WWE Chairman Mr. McMahon. And Drew will admit that he became complacent. Felt like he didn't have to work hard to get to the top. When he got fired, he went away. He got a new attitude. And now he's back bigger and badder than ever. With a vengeance. Yeah, this new attitude from Drew McIntyre dictates he will take whatever he wants. McIntyre laser focused. Here's a man who's put the cruiserweight division on the map in WWE. The and soul of opponent, WWE's cruiserweight Charlotte, division. North Carolina weighing in at 200 pounds. Cedric Alexander. Guys, Cedric Alexander had one of the best matches in the Cruiserweight Classic a couple of years ago. It, it was so good, Triple H came out and applauded the man and then signed him to a WWE contract. You, know, you look at every superstar, and every superstar has their individual motivations. Well, for Cedric Alexander, it is simply to be a good role model for his young daughter to prove that as long as you put in the work, you can succeed at whatever you want to do. This match just might set social media on fire. Oh, it's already trending. The only thing that would make this match more enjoyable to watch would be if I was calling it without you two bozos interrupting me. Hey, Corey, when's the last time you checked your lumbar? I don't know what you're trying to get at, Saxton. I don't consent to a lumbar check from Cedric Alexander. I've got my own chiropractor. Thank you very much. Uh-oh, he's in trouble here. I don't think he should get up. Boom, what impact! Terrible impact! Nice, about a one minute air! What? Drew McIntyre faltering Ouch. some. He's gonna need to find a way to fire back. Yeah, but it looks to me like he still has plenty of energy in that body of his. I wouldn't look too much into this right now. Oh. McIntyre beginning to look a little uneasy. He'll need to find a way to turn things around here. If he wants to win this thing, he's going to need to make some changes here. There's no way he can stay in this match if he doesn't find a way to fend off this attack. This match oh, certainly isn't trending in the right direction for him. He's going to need a change in momentum and fast. Northern Lights! Oh boy, he is rolling. Oh. Escapes trouble there. Oh, just inflicting so much damage to the body. Oh, flying forearm. That'll turn your lights out. He's almost got him. Down with a face buster. This one's over, guys. Jumping, leaping attack. He's going for it all. 
He's not going to like this. He's looking shaky. This could be the end. Look at this. Not the all. Uh -oh. Setting him up. Got the head scissors on. Vicious strike. He knows he's in trouble. Lands this, and he is done. What a strike. Beautiful technique. Scoop slam. Mine. When this guy's on, look out. Oh, man. And there's the reversal from Drew McIntyre. Oh, that's the impact. <laughs> Looking for the finish. Yeah, if he hits this, the match is over. What a stop! Good grief! Cedric Alexander is one of the most highly touted cruiserweights in recent history, but his road to the cruiserweight championship took a lot of twists and turns. Drew McIntyre is getting ready. Oh boy, he is rolling. Drop down. My leapfrog. Uh-oh. It's the red, white, and blue Thunderbomb. You guys mentioned Cedric Alexander's path to the Cruiserweight Championship. He was actually number one contender before the tournament started, but had to compete in the Cruiserweight Championship tournament just like everybody else. A lesser man would have complained or put less in his... Alexander's looking at it. Not sure how much he has left, but now can Cedric capitalize? Cedric Alexander really seems to thrive when it comes to tournaments. In 2016, he had a classic match against Kota Ibushi in the Cruiserweight Classic. Two years later, a tournament got Cedric Alexander Brain Buster. That's what he was looking for, Michael. Byron mentioned Cedric winning his way to WrestleMania in 2018 via the Cruiserweight Championship Tournament. I'd argue that he had the toughest road to WrestleMania. I'm not going to argue with you, Cole. I mean, he took on the Cruiserweight Classic runner-up, and then the guy that won the Cruiserweight Classic, and then Roderick Strong, and then Mustafa Ali, and then he finally won the Cruiserweight Championship. He's looking banged up here, guys. And it looks like things are about to get even worse. Cedric Alexander is perhaps the most balanced arsenal on 205 Live. He can hit you from the sky with his strikes or toss you into the lumbar check. How do you prepare for Cedric? If injuries happen to everyone who steps in the ring, and when they keep you sidelined for an extended period, you know it's a more serious ailment. Cedric Alexander missed five months with a knee injury. Do the math. He looks for it once again. Nice springboard clothesline. This one is over. So incredibly devastating. Ooh. Oh man, what a hit. Knocked right off the apron. Looks like he's starting to sweat now. 
I fully expect him to bounce back, though. This is the type of one-on-one -on -one atmosphere where he thrives. Hey, you're going to absorb some punishment in a wrestling match. It just goes along with the territory, and he knows that. I doubt he's all that concerned at this point. I can tell you with all certainty that he did not anticipate his opponent mounting any sort of comeback here. And it looks like he was wrong. Very wrong. And what a reversal from Drew McIntyre. Oh boy, he is wrong. Harsh impact. Knee drop. That was nasty. So precise. Shining oh. wizard. He's in trouble. Cedric Allen. Here we go a second time. Face plant. That has got to be it. Here it comes. He's got him. Cedric Alexander looking to take the lumbar check. Here's his moment, Michael. Got him good there. Yeah, let's take another look. Discussing strategy against Cedric Alexander earlier, Corey mentioned Cedric's knee injury. Do you think that's a sound? His shoulders are down. Yes! Unreal performance. Here is your winner, Cedric Alexander. Wow, now that's a commanding win. That was simply a case of one guy determined to prove his dominance over another. And listen to this rally crowd show their appreciation for such a great match.